What if I told you that everything you do on your computer, your work, gaming, or even everyday tasks could be faster, easier, and way more efficient, all with just one free tool? Microsoft Power Toys is packed with shortcuts, customizations, and tricks that take your Windows experience to the next level. And no, this isn't just some IT gadget. This is about taking control of your time every time you sit down at your desk. In this video, I'm giving you the ultimate guide to Power Toys' best features, everything you need to streamline your setup and work smarter, not harder. I have created timestamps below. So, let's get to it. To download Microsoft Power Toys, click on Windows Search, type in Microsoft Store, and open the app. Once you're in, search for Power Toys and hit the Install button. When the installation is done, go ahead and launch Power Toys. You will see the Dashboard window open up automatically. If it doesn't, click on Dashboard from the menu on the left. In the Dashboard, you'll find a full list of Power Toys features on the right side. The features at the top are enabled by default, but feel free to toggle off any features you don't need. Scroll down to see additional features that are disabled by default, which you can enable as you like. Now, while the right panel gives you a quick way to enable or disable features, you can also click on any feature from the left menu for more customization options. For example, clicking on Advanced Paste on the left lets you access detailed settings like Enable Paste with AI, Custom Format Preview, enable clipboard history, and even configure your shortcut for this feature. You may access more app settings from the general tab on the left pane. Here you may change the app language theme or even allow the app to run on startup. We also love the experimentation section that allows you to try out new private features. However, you should be running a Windows Insider build to use these feature. With PowerToy set up, you're ready to explore the most useful features it offers. Now, let us show you some of its best tools to boost your productivity. I'll start with Fancy Zones, a tool to customize window layouts for easy multitasking. It goes beyond the regular snap feature in Windows, where you can snap windows left, right, or to any of the four corners using the Windows key plus arrows. With Fancy Zones, you're not limited to basic snapping. You can create unique layouts using pre-made templates or design your own custom layout. First, Open Power Toys and head over to the Fancy Zones section. Make sure Fancy Zones is enabled, and then click on Launch Layout Editor. If you have multiple screens, you'll see them listed, each showing its resolution. Here, you'll find various templates to choose from. Double-click on a template to apply it. Now, when you hold down the Shift key and drag a window, you'll see zones appear. Move your window to a zone, release the mouse, and it snaps right into place. Fancy Zones also lets you customize layouts further. Next to each template, there's a pencil icon. Clicking it lets you adjust a number of zones, like adding columns for a column template or rows for a row template. You can also set margins between zones if you prefer a bit of space around your windows. But what if none of the templates fit your needs? You can create your own layout. Click Create New Layout, give it a name, and choose between the grid or canvas approach. The grid approach lets you divide zones into specific columns and rows, which is great for balanced layouts. You can even split or merge zones as you like. The canvas approach, on the other hand, lets you create overlapping zones, perfect for special setups, like recording a 1920 by 1080 window on an ultra-wide. For example, I set up a 800 by 600 zone for my team's meetings. I can simply drop my window into the zone and share it without worrying about viewers seeing my whole ultra-wide display. Everything will be perfectly scaled for them. Next is the Advanced Paste feature. This takes your normal computer paste to a different level. Click Advanced Paste on the left pane and ensure it is enabled. If you enable Paste with AI, you will be able to format the clipboard content using AI. Now to launch Advanced Paste, press Windows, Shift, and V keys. You'll get three paste options. With Paste as plain text, you remove any associated formatting when pasting. If you select Paste as Markdown, it converts copied rich text or HTML content to Markdown format when you paste it. The Paste as JSON option automatically converts structured text or data into JSON syntax when pasted. You also get a clipboard history with a comprehensive list of all copied items. UI browse these to choose what you need to paste. Next is the Color Picker tool. It is useful for anyone working with design, web development, or presentations. As it lets you identify and capture exact colors from any part of your screen, click the Color Picker tool on the left pane 
and ensure it is enabled on the right. You may select the default color format and toggle on as many formats as you need below. Now, press Windows, Shift, and C to launch the tool. Click on any color you need to identify, and you get a window with its value in any of the formats you have previously selected. Next is the Always on Top feature. It allows you to keep any chosen window visible above others, even if you switch to different applications or open new windows. This is useful when you need continuous access to a particular window when multitasking. To use it, you should select Always on Top from the left pane and ensure it is enabled. You may customize the appearance and behavior as you please. Now open an app and press Windows, Control, and T, and this app will be on top. Also, you may activate Always on Top for multiple apps. Next, we have the Image Resizer feature, which lets you quickly resize images directly from the Images Context menu. To get started, click on Image Resizer in the left pane of Power Toy Settings and ensure it's enabled. You can adjust the preset sizes by clicking the pencil icon next to each one and entering your preferred dimensions. If you scroll down, you'll also find the fallback encoder option, which lets you choose a default encoder for images that might not have one set initially. Now, to resize an image, simply right-click on any image, select Show More Options, and then choose Resize Pictures. This brings up the Image Resizer window. Here, you can choose from the preset sizes by clicking Custom and selecting your preferred choice. Or you may manually enter the width and height you'd like. Additionally, there are various checkboxes and options you can select to customize how the resizing is done. Once everything's set, click Resize to create your perfectly resized image. Another powerful feature in Power Toys is File Locksmith, which lets you find out which processes are locking a file, preventing you from moving, deleting, or renaming it. This is also a handy tool for ending unresponsive processes on Windows. To enable File Locksmith, open Power Toys, select File Locksmith from the left pane, and make sure it's toggled on. Once enabled, this tool will be available directly from the right-click menu in File Explorer. So, let's say you're trying to delete or rename a file but keep getting a message that it's open in another program. Just right-click on the file, go to Show More Options and choose Unlock with File Locksmith. A window will pop up listing any processes currently locking the file. From here, you can select a process and either end it directly or note which app is using it so you can close it manually. This can be super helpful for quickly freeing up files without having to restart your computer or hunt down which program is using it. And that's it. File Locksmith makes managing lock files simple and efficient right from your file explorer. There are many other tools on the Microsoft Power Toys app, so be sure to explore them all. You may find some hidden gems that can save you a ton of time. We post a lot of shorts, so we encourage you to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing. And if you enjoyed this content, please drop us a comment below and like the video so the YouTube algorithm knows you found it helpful. That's all for now. See you in the next video.